YouTube. Today I am doing tag number, and this one is Shoeaholic tag, and it is one definitely one of my favorite topics. Shoes is near and dear to my heart because I love shoes. One of my favorite fashion items, must have splurges, shopaholic item, definitely is shoes. Really have an array of shoes in different colors, but somehow the questions in this tag, all my shoes, so go figure, but I do love shoes in different colors and styles and different um, heel lengths and things like that. So I thought this would be a good tag to do just to showcase one of my love. I would say heels because they're sexy, um, they make you feel sophisticated, classy, just all those girly and womanly ways. And it starts at an early age, it definitely for me, I couldn't wait to get into my mom or my grandmother's heels, um, have my own little pair, so I would definitely say heels, even though my lifestyle only consists of flats and everyday bases and career choices and things like that. I'm usually wearing flats because I'm on my feet for a lot of hours. So with that said, I would say heel. I would have to say my black flats. And these are just little velvet flats with the bow on them. Definitely go to. Um, you can stuff them in your purse. They're comfortable. After a couple of hours in some heels. Um, you can wear them to work. You can wear them, you know, just out in the evening. You can wear them to the movies. I mean, they just fit all different types of lifestyle. My favorite shoe trend at the moment is the cap toe heels or pumps. Oh, I love this trend. And I'm having a hard time finding a pair every time they sold out. The Zara cap toe were sold out. Um, a couple of other websites that I checked out, um, either they don't ship to the U.S. or I just can't find them or they're expensive. So I'm definitely just going to have to splurge on a pair of cap toe um, heels or pumps before the trend is over. this is still part of the trend but the creepers um, I guess because I'm an older woman that just wouldn't fit into my lifestyle or trend so I just don't like the creepers in my generation in the 80s we definitely rock creepers um, so they're just coming back in style but definitely not right now for me my most expensive shoe that I've ever bought a pair of um, BB um, pumps or heels, BB heels, open toe heels, when strappy, and I bought these three years ago for $124, I know, I know, and I wanted to do a video um, in a way on expensive and non-expensive um, items, kind of explaining it or maybe educating in a way, because I spent $124 on these shoes, but they have imperfections. So, um, I, I know a lot of people believe that the more money you spend, the better quality and all those things. But sometimes it's just not true. Um, and that's all I'm going to say on that for now. Say a pair of shoes from Jeffrey Campbell. Um, his shoes are definitely a work of art and if I can get a pair of those, I would be so happy. Um, so I would definitely say Jeffrey Campbell, maybe even the um, Night Walkers. I would say a pair, just a pair of sandals um, where the strap comes off, comes loose, or maybe you're walking through the grass and your heel gets stuck in the grass, um, something like that. Um, I'm going to pick these white um, boots. 
and these are about four years old and I bought these in California when I went back home to visit my family so that's why they are near and dear to me um, it was very cold when I went back home even though I was born and raised there I was cold and I wasn't used to the weather I've got more used to the more tropical warm weather here um, so I had to run to the mall and get me some boots and get me a sweater um, and things like that because I was cold. So definitely these boots. I would say right now I own about 87 pairs of shoes, um, which is probably considered a lot. But I think I want to reach at least 100 on average. But I do love shoes. Um, and a shoe can fit any occasion. You can tell a different story every day just by the pair of shoes you're wearing. So I definitely love shoes. Oh, it's a hundred, and I definitely have some that I am donating um, to charity that I'm not using or I don't want it. The first time I considered myself wearing heels, like five years old, when I had a pair of clogs, which those came back in style. But I had a little, like, one and a half inch pair of clogs, and I've been clogging around, and I just remember those shoes. Um, far as maybe if you consider like a stiletto or something, I would say even as early as maybe 9 or 10 um, because I used to go to church with my grandmother and you know you have your little heels and your nice dresses and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm definitely familiar with heels but as I got older and my lifestyle changed, So average 25 but it could vary depending on what shoe store. Again I would say Forever 21, eBay if I'm looking for a certain type of shoe or a shoe that's been sold out or Urban OG for trendy do item shoes um, is a good place and I can have um, reasonable shipping and handling. But if I want more, um, a more runway style of shoe or something like that, um, I'm finding Zara has, or even um, misguided in a lot of UK stores that I prefer as well. Yes, um, maybe more than one. Funky sandals I bought from Aldo. Um, they're one size too small. I should have went up a little bit higher. And this size is a 37, so I should have got a 38. But they don't carry half size, and I'm usually a half size, so definitely should have got this one size bigger. My favorite pair of shoes, but the ones that I've worn the most um, so far in last season was my chunky booties. So I'm going to say these right now were my favorite and I got these from Urban OG a lady saw me um, taking pictures of, from my blog post and she was like those look like Jeffrey Camels and I was like oh no I got these from Urban OG a website and they're a dupe of Jeffrey Camels and she's like oh I really like those and she wanted the website so definitely um, a trendy pair of booties that I can wear with dresses um, if you saw in my Valentine's um, Day outfits, you can wear with jeans, you can wear with shorts, you can just wear them with anything. So definitely, these are my favorite right now. So, um, I hope you enjoyed my second tag video, Shua Olek. Um, and stay tuned for more videos to come. DIYs, um, I have some items coming, so we'll definitely be doing videos with that as well as fashion videos once I get a collective of items that I can show to you in a haul which I haven't done in a long time. So stay tuned for that and thank you guys for watching. Bye.